to the channel. We have a very special event today. We're hosting Vintage Vices, a local Porsche group. And then we have, of course, and it just happened in the lineup this way, the holy grail of Porsche. day today at the barn it's Saturday and we're hosting vintage vices a local Porsche group so we're happy to, to have them here today enjoy the barn the facility and I love it this is this is my glory right here watch me come out of the flame yeah platinum certified top of my game I'm a sharp shooter baby get out of my aim oh come on I'm untouchable Okay guys, we're here with Vintage Vices today. Like I said, a local Porsche club. And we're with Andres. Andres, thank you very much for bringing the group here today. Why don't you tell them a little bit about what is Vintage Vices? Sure. So first of all, Gaston, thank you for having us. We're always following you and your cars. An amazing, amazing place to find a classic car in Miami. So check them out. So we're just a local group of enthusiasts, a little bit of a bunch of misfits. And obviously our focus is on classic Porsches, but we have a great appreciation for all the old uh, European brands, Ferrari, Lambo, Alfa Romeo, uh, to try to you know, come together and share the passion. So again, thank you to the barn. My pleasure, thank you. It's always a great time. Till the next one. Sunday, like, I woke up on Friday. It was a big sauce. How many of you do this? So, Friday, Saturday, I walked the whole fucking thing. The whole thing. Sunday came and I went, be like, straight <laughs> to my seats, and I just sat there. I got there before they were starting. I don't care if they watch anything else. I'm not leaving the seats. That's it, I was done. But I enjoyed it. So. The group is gone, and I'm left with my good buddy here, Guillermo. We've been friends for about, what, over a decade now? It's been a while now, at man. At least, at least. So I fly. He's smart. He's, he stays around for the end because he wants to get the, the private talk. Of the, <laughs> he sees these new cars. He wants to know all about them. So we're going to just kind of go briefly talk about um, the cars. And this, of course, being the 2022 MC20, Maserati's latest sports car, a 60-mile delivery example. This car is going to go on bring a trailer actually. No reserve, bring a trailer and let the market just kind of pay what, uh, what it's worth. Simple so as that. This is a brand new car though. It's brand new. So I thought this had already been out for a while. The availability is still not there so they're bringing a premium over the window sticker. And this one here is about a $254,000 window sticker. And the premiums are about $50,000 give or take. But this is real reminiscent of like Ferrari styling. So this is Ferrari's influence in Maserati? Well, you know, it's, it's this Italian. Is I would call Maserati. it just Italian. I see a lot of Maserati distinctive design on this. And then of course here, the unicorn, right? It's hard to ignore. We have it in the spotlights, highlighted 2004 Carrera GT, a 1700 mile car, GT silver over black. This car uh, is available for sale. Supercar for Porsche at least. Last of the analogs. A car that, I don't care what kind of car guy you are, no one can argue that it's essentially almost not the bus, right? It's got to, it's up there, and, and every top collector has one. And they only made, what, like 1,270 cars, I believe, was the actual number. It's a modern analog driver's car with a lot of power, V10. But it, this was Porsche's attempt at putting a racing car on the road. Essentially, know about essentially. It, right? it, it, there's, there's a lot of that. You have the quick course. change lug nuts. I mean, it's a, it's a race car. And it sounds like one too. I mean, we're talking about, I would say, top five in the world of best sounding engines ever. The Porsche Carrera GT. And this car was local, right? This car was local. This car actually belonged previously, not, not currently previously, to a very, very important collector down here in Miami. Garage 26, which are known for the best Porsches and Ferraris. And then, let's talk about the newest and latest also, right here. A 92 
348 Series Speciale. We talked about this already on the channel. You know, I was looking for one personally. I couldn't find one. Months and months and months of searching. All of a sudden, two show up. I make an offer simultaneously. Both get accepted, so here we are. I end up with two of the same car. Out of only 100 ever made, I got two. Out of only 35 coupes, I have two. And they both have the Kevlar bucket seats. And I'm, I'm very happy with this car. I bought it sight unseen. It came out from Pennsylvania. And it, we, before we brought it down, we did the full engine out serve. So last week, they completed the full. And I love, listen, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a little torn. Like, which one do I like more? I, without a doubt, I thought it was the blue one. But you have them side by side, and then, you know, I've been shying away from the red Ferrari. But then you see a red on green. But this is modern day color combination. Okay. This is very classic. So 90s, 80s, with that white, almost white, with the yeah. red. And I mean, this is literally like the same as exactly, that. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's true. There you go. But this is what you think of when you think But this Ferrari. is exclusivity. You think? Yeah, you think Ferrari, you think this. You think this red, the light interior. But this is the only, you know, this is the only blue. Uh, 348 Special I ever made. This is only cool. And this is car number three of the 100 production cars. And it's only one of 12 ever produced in 94, so, uh, excuse me, 92. Well, they only made 12. The bulk of the production being 93, like the blue car. And then you had a couple 94s, but the 94s didn't offer the F40 bucket seats. They're pretty special cars. As the name would suggest, they certainly are. All right, guys, that is the wrap. It was fantastic to host these guys. I hope they come back soon. I hope you guys make it here soon too. You're always welcome. I'm just a happy camper. It's Saturday. We got the rest of the day available. I got the two specials behind me. Maybe we'll go for a drive. I want you to stick around for following episodes. We're going to Connecticut. Is it next week or the following? To deliver the 275 GTP to the client. We'll be sure to document that for you as well. So stick around. Thank you for watching. See you next week. I'm Gaston.